Hi, this is Kevin King with Pinehurst Websites and I'm going to do an SEO introduction tutorial for Shopify. So I'm on one of my websites right now and uh, we're taking a look at a product and this is an anchor coral bracelet and let's go ahead and look and see what's built into Shopify and what you have to add. So if we go ahead and we take a look at the products page on Shopify we're going to see that this item right here you put in the title and you're going to put in the description. When you put those in Shopify, it's going to automatically add the meta title and the meta description for you. And those are at the bottom of the page. So this is the meta title and the meta description. And what that means, and then to, this is the URL handle, URL handle. And what that means is these items are going to come up on a search page. So if I did a Google search, ideally uh, for not just the word but for uh, synonyms for this word I'd like to come up and search for this so let's just go to Google search real quick and let's see where these particular things come into play so I'm just gonna go do a Google search and uh, we're gonna go to that search and we're gonna get 120 uh, 1000 results you'll see here in point five eight seconds we're getting images that come up in the search results and we're also getting uh, we're getting Pinterest here we're getting tiramisu.com which is our home page and uh, I'm sorry we're getting the collection our nautical jewelry collection and then we're getting the actual product page so if you click on this it takes you to the product page and we're getting a couple other but most of the results that we're getting are tiramisu so that's pretty good if you can come up on the first page um, and then of course you're getting your ads over here on the right so if we hover over this we're gonna see the URL or the alternate text sometimes uh, and it will show us basically where this uh, file is located so this is on Pinterest Kevin King which is me and then this here is on tiramisu.com and this is on tiramisu.com and those are some of the images coming up so Let's go ahead and break down this search result right here. And you'll see this is the title. And then you'll see right here is the URL handle. And then over here is the, uh, this is the meta description. So this is where these come in. This is the title. This is the meta description, which really they get filled in down here and here. And then this is the handle. So the handle is what comes up when you go to the actual page of the product. So if you go to the page of the product on the top, what's in blue here, that's the product handle. So you want to make sure that you fill out all of those, but also importantly, you're going to see when I hover over this, you'll see text comes up and that's called alternate text. And if you don't have the alternate text on every one of your images, uh, that's going to uh, negatively affect your SEO so one of the reasons these come up is because they all have alternate text so Google knows these are images of an anchor uh, coral anchor orange enamel gold bracelet so uh, here's where we put in the alternate text when we're putting in images under images in your products in Shopify the alternate text is right here and if you go there and that's blank it does not fill it out by default so what I always do is I just go when I'm doing the title I copy it and when I do my images I just paste it in here after I've uploaded my images and that's really the one of the number one things that you want to do is make sure that you put in the alternate text to help you come up in a search result so that search engines know uh, what is on your site and that's one of the best tips that anyone will give you it's one of the basics of SEO is Okay, so let's say that you realize now, oh, I haven't been putting in any of the alternate text. Does that mean I have to go and copy it into every single product? Well, there's a quick way to do that, and it's a, an expert shortcut. So here's what you want to do. You can export all of your products. So I'm just going to export a few products. So if you go to the products page, which I'm on right now, by clicking on the left-hand menu, and let's just say I'm going to do it just with a couple items right here. Uh, so I'll just do like three or four items and I'll do an export and 
this will export these items to a CSV file. So let's just say I got selected four, but I could do the entire, uh, I could do all products by just clicking right here. So I'm only going to do the ones that are selected just to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to export that into a CSV file, which is simply an Excel spreadsheet basically that's formatted in a certain type of format. It stands for comma separated values, but it looks just like a regular Excel spreadsheet. So here's all my items, and the title is what I normally copy. So if I just want to copy these, these titles right here, I can just go through and I can copy my titles, and I uh, copy right here, <clears throat> and I can go to the field where my alternate text is. So my alternate text is right here. I've already got it in here, but then I could just I can just simply click paste and it's going to put if I do a control V, it's going to copy my alternate text. So this is where the alternate text goes in the import file. So if this were blank, that's what I would do. Uh, just like I, I just showed you. So then you just go to this file and you import it. So if we take this file, let's go to uh, save as, and I'll just call it my import file. So we go to product import. <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. You don't even have to necessarily rename it, but I think it's a good idea. And we'll call it uh, test. And then you can import these items right back in with the alternate text. So make sure that you always look at where you save that. So when you do your save as, look at where you're going to. This one's going to download, so it's in as test and download. So if I were to go and look for that file, I'll know where to find it. So I'm looking for <clears throat> that product imports. So I'm just going to close that here. And let's go over to the import on the product screen. And then we're just going to choose this file and we're going to overwrite. And that's all you're going to do. So we would just go to downloads and we look for that test file. And here it is, product imports test. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and import it and upload that file. And then that will show me uh, the first item that I'm getting ready to import and what it looks like. And I can just start import. And then once that's finished importing, I've got all my alternate text in there. So there's a quick way, if you do not have alternate text on your items, that you don't have to go into every single item. All you need to do is copy your titles into your alternate text column, which is in this import spreadsheet. And um, it's very simple. If you have any questions on this, um, you know, you might want to contact Pinehurst websites. And this is something that we can do for you very quickly. So, uh, but it's something that most people who are proficient in Excel, uh, they can do it pretty easily as well. So just make sure you copy it into the correct, uh, into the correct column and you'll be, you'll be all set and you'll have your alternate text on all your images. And you can make your alternate text more specific on certain items and a little more detailed uh, and that will help you to come up for certain uh, certain words in search, I think, and especially your images in the image search for Google. And uh, let's move on to the next section here. Make sure you always have alternate text. So let's just go to our home page real quick, and this is also important, is when you go to your home page, uh, so if we go down to settings, this is where puts in the meta description of your home page on your site. Uh, this will be the title uh, or the name of your site. This will be your your title and then this will be your uh, meta description. So let's go ahead and take a look at that on a Google search. So if we go to tiramisu.com and you'll see you've got your uh, description just as it is uh, where I was showing you. Then you've got your URL and then you've got your meta description and it's exactly as you see it uh, where we had it over here. So this is this is where you need to put this in and this is very important because this tells Google what your whole page is about and what you what you can expect to find on the page but it also tells customers when they get to a search result on your page 
what they can expect to find on your page. So those are some of the basics of SEO. We'll get into more depth uh, things about SEO, but some of the most important things that you can do are to fill out that alternate text, make sure that you have those settings on the settings page uh, with the description of your page filled out, and that will fill out the meta title and meta description, and uh, it will definitely help you to come up for the keywords that you're trying to come up for. Another tip is make sure that you put it in a natural language. See how this is a natural language and it's just not stuffed with keywords but it's put in more naturally uh, and you just want to put in the right number. You're going to see that there's a limit to what you can put in in meta description. Uh, so if we go to one of the items, if we go to products or if we go to this title page, it's going to give you a limit of what you want to put in there. If you go over that limit it's going to show up uh, like this with a dot 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 for instance so it's only going to recognize the first 70 characters so that's all you need to know for getting started with SEO on Shopify a lot of it is automatically created but you want to put the most important characters forward in those descriptions when you're setting up products for instance uh, so that you, uh, things in your meta description are the most important items and they will come up in your meta description. Use as much as you can of that 160 characters and then use the 70 characters as much as possible. Um, and I think that will give you a good head start on SEO for Shopify. So thanks for tuning in. You can find out more at my website by clicking the link in the description below this video. And uh, you can check out my tutorials at pinehurstwebsites.com.